I got a package in the mail. Really looking forward to opening that. Well, a commercial from iMemories showing that this is what they use. We got lots of stuff going on up here. I've been super busy the last few days. We got one order going here. Yeah, that tape's messed up. We'll fix that. Got another order going on right here. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. You're going really good up here at Emerald Coast Digitizing. I've been super busy. That's why I haven't been posting as many videos. For all you guys that have been staying tuned, thank you so much for liking. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and leaving comments. It's really helping the channel grow. And it's making me feel better about making these videos because I feel like I'm giving value to my subscribers and that makes me feel good. So thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting in the video. I've got one order going over here. And yes, this tape is messed up, but it's just a part of that tape. I can't really figure out what's going on. Over here, we've got another order set up just on these two computers here, finishing up the film order. They had a few tapes with their order. Here we got some recorded TV going on some of their tapes, but uh, yeah, they're good with it. They just wanna see what's on them. And I've got a third order going on these computers here. Very small, doing lots of tape repairs in the store lately. <laughs> and actually these are ones that I'm redoing for this job. A few um, interlacing issues on these probably because I didn't unplug the Elgato and restart them. This is my second time trying to copy that one, but uh, let's check out what's in this box. I really hope it works. And I really probably didn't need this, but I wanted to see, it was a pretty good deal. I really can't remember what I paid for it, but if it works correctly, then it will be a good deal. Packaged well. Yeah, so the, uh, change things up a little bit in the shop here. Usually that screen right there is way over there, but I went ahead and put uh, a couple more computers over there so I could have more space to digitize. The MacBook Pro that I had without a screen stopped charging, so we won't be using that anymore. I really haven't been using it much lately anyways, so not a big deal. And it really has exceeded my expectations as a computer. And maybe I can get it fixed, we'll see. But it's not super important. It is a nice little machine, but the screen did not work on it. But I'm sure you guys can tell that this is just a VCR, but let's check out what kind it is. Panasonic DMR EZ48V. And this thing's got a few different things it can do. It's pretty interesting. It takes DVN, SD card, and USB here for the recorder. And you can do DVD recording and stuff like that. Well, anyways, let's get it all out of here. And let's try to test it out. So guys, this is the VCR that iMemories uses. I saw this in a commercial that they put out recently and I just wanted to pick one up. So that's what this is. It does have a HDMI out. Can't remember how to choose a source on this thing. This thing is powering on. Source and HDMI. So it's not working through the HDMI, but we can go AV and power it on. No VHS cassette, so let's put a VHS in. Let's see if it takes it. It did take it. Exciting. And it's playing, guys, it's working. It's got a little bit of an audio buzz to it. Oh, and it's actually playing 
It was actually playing through the HDMI just then. Now it's switched over to AV as soon as I unplug the HDMI. And then when I plug the HDMI back in, it will switches over to HDMI. So it does have an HDMI out. And the AV out. It's a shame that this TV's flickering. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. But it does have an audio buzz, so let's eject. And let's just put our basic head cleaner through it real quick. And see if that cleans anything off. Doesn't seem to have, oh, here we go. It's got some controls in here. Does not have a rewind button though. So, oh, here we go. Copying. Hmm. So you're telling me that I can't use this thing without a remote? So it only plays. No rewind or fast forward on this thing. You have to have the remotes. So let's see. Let's take our video head cleaner out. And the reason why I bought this, guys, is because I saw a video, and this thing definitely has a buzz to it. And it could be the tape, though. This tape is getting weird. Hey, how you doing? That customer just picked up. This thing still got a little bit of an audio buzz to it, but guys, what I was saying is, I don't know if I can rewind. No, you can't rewind without the remote. Why would they make it that way? That's okay. So I found that VCR for $45. So the reason why I bought this VCR is because I saw a commercial from iMemories showing that this is what they use. They have a ton of these at iMemories and I just wanted to see if it was a, if it was a good product and if they were using something that I would use. Uh, so I'm gonna put that thing through its paces and see how it works, how well it does compared to the Panasonics and all the other stuff I have in here. And I just thought it was fun to go ahead and pick one up because I saw that video and I could pinpoint exactly what player they're using. And odds are they aren't just using these players. They just showed these in the commercial to make it look like they're using all these. But um, you can also see from that commercial that there's no video monitors or anything anywhere nearby. So that means that they're just putting all their players through a switchboard and switching back and forth and using one main screen to check every once in a while, I suppose. I'm not really sure exactly how they do it over there, but I'm not seeing any screens right behind that guy. <laughs> so uh, this is probably the better way to do it so you can monitor each player and make adjustments and do everything you do, need to do on each file for each video, for each player, for each tape. Doing this with 40 or 50 VCRs and sending them into one TV and switching them around, that's, that's just not the best way to do it. Maybe it's the most efficient way to do it, but it's not the best way to get a good quality, thorough capture. But anyways, guys. Uh, the women's families will retaliate against the American troops. I want to see... I'm Sean, by the way. Pam. <laughs> How much it costs to get all these done to the pictures. Slides. Yep. Okay, uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten. 15, probably 30 in each one. 15 bucks per each one of these, probably. Okay. And that should give us 690 slides. Okay. And that's an, that's an estimate. It's yeah. probably going to be less than that because okay. some of these boxes are smaller. And then 690 times 50. So it says 
three forty five, but I would I would imagine it's probably closer to three hundred. Okay. I would okay. imagine. Mm -hmm. I want that. And it's just going to be. I'm not going to print anything out. It's just going to be a USB drive. Oh, I want pictures. The USB drive will have all these images on it, and then you can take that and go get them printed out. If you want to get them printed out. Cause if I, there's no way anybody can charge, I can't charge 50 cents to print out photos. E even if I had those machines, it would, okay. Be, okay. It would be probably closer to like a dollar so fifty. Plug it into my but you, what you should be able to do is, you should be able to go up to Walgreens or anywhere around town that does photo printing and give them the USB drive and say, hey, I want these printed out. Okay. And then they can print them out in whatever shape, size, 35 millimeters, usually a four by three photo. Okay. So it, it'll be more of a square. Yeah, um, I was hoping for pictures, but <laughs> yeah, I mean this is the first step, though, right? You have to get them this way first. Okay. Right? Now, okay. if you wanted to do it all in one and get it all done all in one somewhere, uh -huh. there are places where you can go get help. I'm not, not sure they charge you. I know it's more like a dollar for a slide, and then how much it costs for the photo print. Uh -huh. So it's going to end up being more expensive, okay. go ahead but if you <laughs> want to go ahead and get it done all at once at one place, Gulf Coast Camera does do it all. They can do printing and everything and do all of that, but I know it's going to be, it's going to cost much more okay. if you go that route. Now, if it's not something you worry about price, you just worry about convenience, Yeah. Well, maybe you should take it to them, <laughs> but I can get them all, you know, okay. so you're there on your phone. And then you can go through and you can pick out each one that you can make a folder with the photos you want to print out. Okay. Versus getting okay. everything printed out. I know out. they're all older and they should have my grandparents and stuff sure. on there. That's what I'm at. That might actually save you, <laughs> save you money too at the end of the day. If you just go ahead and get them all, then you can look through them. Because you're going to have, you know, close to 300 and something photos here. Four, 600 and yeah. something photos here. And getting 600 photos printed out ain't cheap. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can go okay. through and find, okay, I want this picture. I want this picture printed out. And okay. you can find like 30 or 50 or 40 or however many you really want to get printed out, you know, the, okay. maybe end up being like a hundred bucks or something to get that done. Yeah. Okay. I'll charge at the end. That way I can give you an exact price based on how many photos are, I get out of there. So basically what I'll do is I'll put every photo individually numbered on a USB drive. And then I'll take that amount of photos and that's what I'll charge you for. If you enjoyed this content, I think you'll like these videos as well. So check those out. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.